welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to have a little bit of a discussion about the different difficulty levels. And I know what you might be saying, Bumble, that's not that uh, very exciting. However, I think um, I, I've spent some time in every single difficulty level now, quite a bit of time in each one. And uh, there's a few interesting things I've discovered, and I've got a... I got a, an opinion on a few of them that I think uh, some people might find interesting. Um, there was a bit of a discussion in the Discord about uh, the different difficulties, and once I started talking about it, I'm like, uh, you know, that might be a good discussion uh, for a video. Uh, quite a few people were, you know, seeing uh, different points of views, and it was uh, a sort of a neat thing to see. And during my intro, I just spooked a bunch of deer. I don't actually know... Uh, I heard it was or anything, uh, but oh well. Uh, so yeah, so as everyone knows, uh, four difficulties in Way of the Hunter. Uh, I'm going to start kind of like with the outside ones, not not do too much detail on those ones. Um, sort of the, the, the meat of the video is going to be on the differences between Adventurer and Hunter difficulty, which I think is a uh, uh, some good information on that. Um, but actually, I'll just start with Ranger because it's just the easiest to explain, right? So Ranger, if you didn't know, is uh, the exact same difficulty as the Hunter difficulty uh, in the game. Uh, so all the mechanics and everything like that, uh, all like the spook radius and the alertness of the animals, everything like that is uh, the exact same between Hunter and Ranger. The difference, of course, is no Hunter sense with the Ranger mode. So that's one quick difficulty out of the way, just because uh, any sort of uh, topic that comes up or uh, facts about the hunter difficulty that comes up in the video, you can just apply them right to the ranger mode, minus the hunter sense. So if we go to the opposite end of the spectrum, go to the explorer difficulty, uh, this one, um, I found this interesting, that the, the developers seem, from, from the information I got, they seem like they're comfortable and they're happy with all the difficulty settings, um, even with Explorer mode, but I get the feeling that the Explorer mode will still get uh, some tweaks to it. I'm not positive or anything on that, but uh, that's just sort of the feeling I get, that they're still kind of looking at Explorer mode, trying to get that right, because the Explorer difficulty is the one for the, the introduction to the, to the game for the new players. I think they've done a pretty good job on Explorer difficulty. If you want to know about where the difficulty sits, and if you're familiar with Call of the Wild, the Explorer difficulty, I think, uh, sits uh, pretty near to the difficulty of Call of the Wild, but it's actually, I still think it's it's more difficult than Call of the Wild. So if you're a fan of, of Call of the Wild, and uh, but do enjoy like the herd management of Way of the Hunter, and you want about the same difficulty level, I would suggest, you know, definitely starting on the Explorer difficulty level. Uh, you get more glowy things on the ground, uh, like that other game. Um, there's more blood tracks, and you get the little red cone over the blood. Um, the, the alert meter builds a lot slower on the animals, and uh, the hunters, the sound the hunter makes goes a lot shorter, doesn't go out or doesn't build up the meter as fast. Uh, just for an example, uh, a rifle shot in Explorer difficulty goes out to about 150 meters, so not very far. It does go a little further, but they don't really spook. The animals typically don't spook uh, beyond 150 meters or so, give or take, depending on the species about. But um, just as an example, like you can shoot this direction 150 meters and then a herd over here, you know, sitting at 180 meters or something like that will still be there. They might be looking up and going to alert mode, but they don't bolt from it uh, in most cases. Uh, so that helps a lot with keeping the game kind of like faster paced and everything like that. Like the the blood tracking's real quick and easy. You can't really mess that up. Um, shooting the rifle off keeps a lot of the animals still around. Uh, so that helps a lot. Uh, the one other factor with the Explorer difficulty, um, this in this was something in the the community that um, definitely had uh, polarizing opinions on is when you're when you got hunter sense on and you spook an animal or you hear the uh, twig snapping um, all the difficulties had the identification of the animal removed and the explorer difficulty is the only difficulty when you hear a twig snap uh, that will tell you what animal snapped the twig so for my understanding, for the sake of realism, since you can't really tell what animal snaps a twig, they remove that identification from the sound for all difficulties except for the explorer mode. 
Now, I bring this point up uh, just quickly before I get into the two main difficulties I want to get into. Um, is because that that spooking the animals when they're running away, you can't identify the bubbles with animals that are running away. So if you've never seen them, you won't know what they are. Uh, or the, the twig snaps. That really bothered some players. And it sort of locked them into the Explorer difficulty because they, they didn't really want to lose that at all. And I think some of them maybe, you know, got turned away from the game, like feeling forced into the Explorer difficulty because it, it definitely is easier uh, than all the other ones. And so I wanted to bring this up uh, just because I have a little tiny sort of workaround for that problem. And it's not the best workaround, but it is something to try if you're like one of the players that really don't want to, you know, miss out on that the idea of the the twig snapping or anything like there's no direct fix for it but i would suggest going up to default difficulty the, the adventure difficulty which is the one i'm actually in right now and if you hear if you're off in the distance and you see over here all of a sudden bubbles go like little spooking bubbles pretend there's little bubbles there you don't know what it is um you can sort of get the same effect i mean just do this just go boom uh photo mode and if you're quick and you got it set and fast, you can just run the camera up and see what spooked. Um, so it's just a little thing. I'm playing with the camera a lot more in the game. Um, but I mean, if because I know there are some players where the only objection was the of moving explorer difficulty was not being able to identify um, the spooked animals and the twig snaps. Um, so if you still want to identify them, I don't know if you're okay with the camera, um, you just do that fly up real quick keep it in the fast mode and just identify it I mean it's just a little tiny little workaround that at least gives you the option to ID the spooking animals that you don't know there um, I, I think it's an okay workaround some people uh, really don't want to use the the photo mode I understand that because it kind of feels like you know it's not real hunting or whatever or like the realism kind of goes from that uh, but there's a balance between game and realism right and if you're already on a plane explorer level and you're you're kind of you know, grumpy that you're stuck down at explorer level because of that, I would suggest uh, try try that little photo mode thing just to, uh, just to you know, uh, give you another kind of option so you can go up in the difficulty levels and uh, still ID those animals you can't see. So on to the real meat and potatoes of the video that I wanted to get into, and this is comparing the adventure difficulty, the default one, with the hunter difficulty. I want to get the ranger and explorer out of the way just because uh, they're more niche kind of things. I think the majority of the player base from what I see is falling into the adventure difficulty or the hunter difficulty. Um, there's a certain select passionate players about the ranger difficulty. Um, but, you know, they know where they are, and they, they play it because, you know, that's what they uh, they enjoy from it. And then if you're in the Explorer camp, then you kind of know that's where you're sitting. Uh, but there's a lot of players that um, I've seen, it's about 50-50, uh, that are in Adventurer and, uh, and Hunter difficulty. And if you're like me, I was going to spook these foxes, probably get them out of here. I'm not going to take any of them. Um, I was bouncing around difficulties because I couldn't get uh, settled on one. So when I started the game, um, I was trying to decide which guy. I'm going to need a hill here for an example, so I'm going to go this way. Uh, when I started the game, I was like, I'm going to play Ranger. Um, I'm like the hardcore hunting mode, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do Ranger. Uh, but as soon as I started the game, I'm like, well, I can't really start with Ranger. Uh, because to learn the mechanics of the game, it's really built around Hunter Sense. So I'll play on Hunter difficulty till I learn the basics of it, get a feel for the game, then I'll go to Ranger. And from that decision on, I went back and forth because there's, I mean, uh, to talk about ranger difficulty, it's a whole video on its own. Um, there's lots of pros and cons to that. Um, but because of the, the downside to the ranger difficulty, I kept coming back to the hunter, but then, like the hunter difficulty. But the hunter difficulty, um, it, uh, you know, didn't satisfy the ranger kind of, uh, you know, need where where you don't really want glowing things all over the place and you want that hardcore kind of feeling. So I was bouncing back and forth a lot. And when the game came out, the Explorer difficulty and the Adventure difficulty were quite... It's kind of agreed upon from the, the old guard that were around since the start of the game that they were buggy difficulties, so a lot of us got turned right off from them and didn't really go back to them. Uh, but one day I was, I was bringing up... I was getting kind of um, frustrated with uh, Ranger and Hunter difficulty a little bit. And it was just a discussion that was uh, that was in the Discord. 
And the community manager, Michael, he mentioned that uh, a little while ago, uh, they had made improvements to, there was a patch that changed a lot of the difficulty stuff. And he said the Explorer difficulty and the Adventurer difficulty, uh, they made a lot of positive changes to it and recommended I give it a try. And I think it's important to uh, point out that I wasn't really, I, d I didn't go uh, try the easier difficulties because the Hunter difficulty Ranger were too difficult. I mean, the wording here is, is going to get a little awkward. Um, because it is difficult, but kind of not in the way I think the game should be difficult. Uh, now this is definitely uh, my opinion kind of thing. Um, the Hunter difficulty became um, difficult in the way that it tests your patience uh, sort of thing. And it broke immersion more uh, than like the default uh, difficulty. And I want to sort of show the example of that. Um, but when you kind of play a hunting game, you kind of want to play it to like relax or any kind of video game, I sort of relax. Um, if I want to have my patience tested, <laughs> I will just do a real life job or, you know, that's what kids are for. They t <laughs> to test your patience. I don't want to be like testing my patience here and then testing my patience here and then go and weigh a hunter and get my patience tested. Because that's where I'm finding where the difficulty was actually lying. Um, was, um... It, it wasn't like necessarily harder, I could still get the animals and everything like that, but you just needed a whole lot more patience uh, to pull it off. Now some people would like that, um, that challenge, but that was the only additional challenge I really found, was just, it just, in need, it just increased uh, the patience required and it, it was going over my threshold. So here is where I start to explain um, why the hunter difficulty um, is sort of um, it takes a bit too much strain of, of the patience of the player. I know it goes from person to person, but <clears throat> in my opinion, um, it takes the... Just a second, I lose my voice here. So the two problems with Hunter difficulty I had, and my voice is going to get a little rough now, um, is uh, one, the patience toll that it takes, uh, sort of on the player, and the other part is it actually... Uh, it's like an immersion problem for me. And I'll explain here if my uh, voice will hold steady for me. Um, so we're going to use the elk. I don't really have anything around. There was a deer call here a second ago. Um, but we'll use elk for a second because elk are one of this, the most sensitive animals in the game. There's a bunch of them and you only have to only have to trigger the alert meter on one elk uh, to spook the entire herd. And they, they're one of the most sensitive animals. So I'm going to use them as an example. Uh, so take Hunter difficulty, uh, and I'm going to explain the, the two parts that 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 bug me about it. Um, so say I'm coming up this slope here, and there's elk over the hill. So in Hunter difficulty, I would typically walk around in normal crouch speed. Because if you're doing this speed, the slow crouch, um, that just takes way too long to get around the map. That This is where, <laughs> you know, that would just test the patience a bit too much. So you'd be going this speed, right? And all of a sudden, you'd get a spook. Like, a whole bunch of bubbles go off, and it'd be 200 meters over there. Because in Hunter difficulty, you can fill up that alert meter at 180 meters um, on those elk, and it, it would go off. And you'd be like, ah, ah, man. Um, you know, it, it's it's okay to, um, you know, to have that sort of spook, spook happen, of course. But it's sort of not realistic because if I'm if I'm walking just through like wooded area like this on here, the game doesn't make it seem like I'm being noisy. And if they're 200 meters over there, like 180 meters over there, um, like there's no indication that I'm making a whole lot of noise or anything like that. Like, and if they're over a hill, there's no like direct line for the sound or anything. Um, like if I'm making any noise, they won't really be able to tell if I, I could just be another deer or something. Um, so I found it a little unrealistic um, that they would just bolt so far away. Um, if anything, if those elk actually, you know, did hear sound like a person over here, they wouldn't just run. They would, they would do like the hunting pressure animation that's in the game. They would, they would start to just walk away or trot away. They would look back and they would just kind of start to leave the area if they got concerned, right? So it was kind of like a, a bit of an immersion breaking thing that uh, they just spook way too early and it sort of like ah oh, man this is artificially making it more difficult sort of thing the other part of it is if you did if they did alert early enough that you would detect them and they're going over the hill 
about you know 180 meters out you would you'd have to do two things one you would have to start doing the start stop thing all right so you'd have to do this and stop even if you didn't see them or anything like we're pretending to like over that hill and you would start and then you would stop right so you're kind of like doing like a one two three stop one two three stop and that doesn't feel very r realistic right it's um you're increasing the you're increasing the alertness meter, then you're letting it go down. It feels very digital kind of thing, right? Um, and then when you got to about 160 meters or so, maybe 150, if you got lucky at this doing this, you'd have to switch to the slow uh, crouch like this and do the same thing. And you wouldn't even be able to see them. And if you messed up, they would run. And you know, fair enough. Um, but this is where the kind of the patience does and, and where the immersion kind of gets broken here because I understand like if you're hunting something you need you need to stop right like when you get closer but um, it's too far away for like your natural sort of feeling or instinct to kick in that you have to stop and you just you'd have to do this absolutely forever to get like, close to them and you wouldn't really know if you're alerting them half the time um, but anyways, but that brings me to the adventure mode, why I eventually switched uh, to uh, the adventure difficulty. Alright, so thanks for hanging around the video this long, if you actually managed for me just talking the whole time. But I'm about to bring it home, this is the, uh, the whole reason here. So, um, the way, reason I, I switched to adventure difficulty is sort of this example that I'm going to repeat here. Um, but there's an important... Uh, uh, distinguishing factor to realize here. If I open up the map, there are sort of two difficulties within every difficulty in the game. So we're talking about Adventure, Default, and Hunter. And there's actually two kind of mini difficulties inside of it. Um, and I'll explain what I mean. You have two basic kind of types of terrain and area to hunt in. You've got like the river and the open areas, and then you got the woodland forested areas. Now hunting in the open uh, areas in the river areas is much easier than in the woodland areas because the hunter is just much more noisy in here apparently and and the animals just spook a whole lot easier so you've kind you kind of have two different difficulties within each one and the important thing to note is when you're talking about hunting in the open like say this river here the nice open fields here down uh, around river mouth or so when you're comparing adventure difficulty and hunter difficulty in the open there isn't much difficulty at all like difference at all um, like when it comes down to it there is a difference but when you're in the open like looking out here you've got your rifle or so you know you don't need to get closer than 200 meters or so uh, but you're even quieter so if you have to get close even on hunter difficulty you can get within 100 meters of deer out in the open like this. Uh, just because how much quieter the hunter is and they don't really visually see you. So there is no, when you're hunting in the open, it almost doesn't matter if you're on adventure difficulty or hunter difficulty when you're in the open. Um, hunter was so, hunter difficulty is so difficult in the, in the woodland areas. Uh, the other problem I had with it is it was pushing you, kind of forcing the player to go out in the open in the rivers because it was so challenging in the woodland. And I'm kind of a player that likes to, uh, like, hunt everywhere. Like, I want to try every kind of hunting style and use all the equipment and all that sort of things. Oh, looky here. Um, but that's the, um, uh, that's just kind of like the, the hunter I am. Um, but when you think of it that way, when the, the, like, the open areas and the river are kind of like the same between hunter and adventurer, um, you can kind of rule that out, right? So then the only difference in difficulty is woodland hunting. Uh, so what I did was I basically set my difficulty level to what I enjoyed the most while hunting in the woods here. And I'll demonstrate that uh, just in a minute since I'm scouting out. I got a couple two-star material white tails. I don't got anything great in here, so I might just do a little bit of hunting while I'm in here. I was hoping to stumble upon something, but it's hard to hunt and talk so much at the same time. Sorry for all the talking, by the way, but it's just one of those videos where I want to explain because I know a few people will find find them interesting here. What's that? 250? Um, oh, I grabbed, grabbed the wrong button here. Uh, but I just want to explain just the last part about uh, the difference in the woodland um, hunting difficulty and uh, compared to hunter. How much should I zero here? 300? 
And you're going to go right in the bush where I can't see you. Okay, they're both in the bushes there. <laughs> both of those two sarmatures. Ah, so we'll give them a minute to come out. Um, but yeah, so I ended up on Adventure Default difficulty. Uh, mainly because of the example I gave before with the Hunter difficulty. Um, so you'd be... So same thing with the Elk. Um, there's still a challenge. Um, but it's just it's just a bit more reasonable, and it's um, in that transition between uh, you know our normal crouch speed down to the the start and stop down to the slow crouch speed. It feels way more natural when you're hunting animals in the woods. Like uh, you you feel you should slow down more like real like how you would normally would. So same thing if elk were over here to like 180 meters, um, the adventurer also builds up. Um, the spook meter slower so there's more chance for the little alert sound off so you do get a bit more of a chance there um so say like ant, the elk alert you at 180 meters out um so you'd be able to do this speed in um instead of you know going critical about 160 meters um you know you'd get up to like 160 meters you can probably still do this to like 150 and then at 150, then you start to get a little uncomfortable because you're 150 meters and you know they're hearing you now. Uh, but you're you're a bit closer than you were. But but instead of starting start and stop back at like 180 meters, 170 meters away, you can now start and do the start and stop thing. At like 160 meters to like 150 meters. Like you're just much closer. And instead of having to do start and stop in this slow way, you can get a little... You can get away with more quicker start and stops like this so it just saves a whole lot more time sneaking into the elk kind of like this and when you get to like that you know 110 meters or they're just over the hill or something and you know they're there then you switch to this slow start and stop but it feels more natural because you can go a little longer with the slow crouch like this and um, it just feels more natural because you get really close and you're like, oh, I really need to stop. Like you really kind of you feel it there. It just feel it just feels more immersive the transition. Like it's not it's not so robotic like the other one. Like the hunter difficulties one, two, three, stop, and you got to do it so long. The transition from doing this speed into a start and stop sort of time frame is much quicker. Like, you can just cover the ground quicker, and then the transition to, like, the slow. So instead of going right to a slow start-stop, you can go to a steady slow instead, which makes a lot, feels a whole lot better uh, sneaking into, uh, sneaking up to animals without doing the stopping. Um, so you can go right into this mode, and you will, like, when it comes to elk and the sensitive animals, you'll still spook them. But, like, say I was trying to get up that tree, and they're, like, just down that slope there. Um, I'd be able to make it to this tree in most cases, right? But even if I started alerting them, since the meter builds up slower, you get a higher chance that they'll actually indicate the alert. Um, and then you'll you'll freeze up, right? Uh, and it just feels a lot more real. So I do know that was a lot of talking. I didn't actually want to do that much talking, but but it's just, you know, I get going. Uh, we'll do just a little bit of hunting. We'll take out one of these deers if I can get a shot on him here. Uh, we got the 7 mil and the 14 times scope because I've got my favorite reticle on it. He's about we're getting on 300. We're zeroed for 300. Rear crouch. Wind to the right. Uh, let's see here. Hopefully he can stop. There's actually two star matures, so I can take either one of them. He's quartering away slightly. Let's see if we can land a shot. Oh my goodness. It went over him. What? Hey, look. They didn't run. I get a second chance. I'm going to have to watch that back again. Isn't he, isn't he 300 out? Like that marker, I guess the wind's pretty strong. Huh. All right, well, let me know <laughs> what I did there. I thought that was okay, wasn't it? I've only done hundreds and hundreds of shots like this. Hmm. Oh, now I've put hunting pressure on them. <laughs> they don't know what's going on. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, 280. Yeah, 300 should be fine. Like, it'll go a little high. I don't think it's going to go that high. Okay, let's go Let's go for this guy. <laughs> let's try that again. So, yeah, there you go. On hunter difficulty, they would have bolted. Uh, but it's about 250 meters in adventure mode.
Oh, look at that. He's parking right in the right in the bush. Okay, here's another one. Um, so it gives you a little more leniency there. So explore is like two... Or is it 150 meters? Maybe it's 200 in Adventurer. Yeah, it's like 200. 200 to 250, you can fire the rifle off and be okay. Uh, Hunter difficulty, they, they would have spooked on that, I think. Okay, let's give it another try. What's going on here? Aim a little low this time. Wind heavy to the right. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, that's a hit. That's more what I was expecting. <laughs> I'm going to have to watch that one back here. Oh, there he goes. You know, I've seen it kick up, or the dirt kick up in the, after that first shot. Okay, he's down there. That's a good one. Alright, let's go pick him up. Oh, if you made it this far in the video, thanks for sticking around listening to me blabble on so much. I didn't actually, uh, wait. I didn't actually plan on talking that long, but I guess there was a lot more to explain than I wanted to. So, here's another advantage. This is like the hunting in the open, right? It's just way easier. And, uh, so these guys would have been sitting about 300 out. And so you do get, you know, maybe this is a bit too easy that they didn't spook, but I, I still think it's okay. Um, you just get, get to see the animals a bit more. Um, that these guys are here, like these guys would have spooked in hunter difficulty, right? So there is that in the open area a little bit, right? Um, a three star mature, one star adult. I don't even know who to take here. Probably just, um, I don't know, I haven't cataloged these ones. I guess there's not much point in taking, taking the three star mature. I, I told myself to shoot these ones. Because they're probably just 50, 60 percent. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm curious. All right, we're gonna do it. Um. Because uh, I just know he's gonna be like 50, 60 percent, and I and I want everything above 70. <laughs> so, uh, do I shoot him when I lay down? I like. I don't like doing uh, laying down shots. Oh wait, 150 meters, a zero down. I don't like doing the laying down shots. Oh, there we go. Uh, so let's take this guy out, and we'll collect them both, and we'll see we'll see what kind of mistake I make here. Let's try a hard shot. Oh no, wind, wind, uh, I didn't take a uh, factor into the wind here. And I'm not crouched. There we go. Uh, wind to the right. I'm going to try a hard shot. Here we go. Wind right. Uh, we got, we got pink. We got pink. He's running way too fast for a hard shot. At least I think it was pink blood. When you go for the heart like that, you risk going too far forward and then missing the lungs altogether. Or not putting enough damage into them. Alright, he's really going. What did I hit? He's got to be laying down there now. This is not looking happy. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that must be single lung, I'm guessing. Alright, let's see how I did here, and then we'll probably call it a video. But to sum up, I hope that kind of made some some sense, is why I'm on the default difficulty. Basically, the hunter difficulty feels like a bit too digital, and that pulls me out of like the immersion of the game. While the adventure difficulty flows a little more, and doesn't test my patience so much. Uh, and and uh, the community manager, Michael, he thinks the adventure difficulty in, in the default mode uh, being the default mode is sitting in a really good spot, and I actually I, I do agree with that. It's uh, it does feel pretty good here. Uh, what do we got? A uh, two star upper lung. That's much better. Uh, Sixty percent. That's fine. That's fine. He can go. Uh, Three thirteen. He was two star, right? Yeah. All right. Get rid of him, and we'll go find this other guy. Um, where'd he go? Just hundred and sixty meters, I think here. So let me know uh, what difficulty mode you're on. I do I do mostly reply to everybody in the comments there. So I do like to hear the opinions, and I I bear that in mind. Um, you know, when I make my videos and, um, you know, what people are thinking and what they're doing with the game. Oh, jeez. You buggers. Here. Out of those. Oh, that just missed. That just missed. Um... Yeah, I try to reply on that, and I, I kind of treat it just like the Discord channel. Um, keep keep those opinions in mind and all that. Uh, okay, what kind of mistake did I make here? I don't know. I, I bet you he's below 70. Let's take a look. First, we'll take a look at the shot. 
Um, yeah, so I went for that heart. Oh, yeah, see, that's that's the scary part, right? You go too low, you risk not getting them at all. And, um, yeah, I shot too far forward on that. I was I was thinking the wind would pull it more because I was I was getting uh, intimidated by that first shot that seemed the wind seemed to take it so it's <laughs> same in here expecting the wind to pull it more. Uh, anyways, got lucky there. I think he ran far. Oh no, he knocked out the lung. Okay, so it's basically a lung kill. How do we do? Eighty-eight <laughs> percent. See, yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> third it. So yeah, I told myself I'm gonna take those three stars because they're all gonna be seventy percent or something like that. Because if they were a high percentage, they'd be four star by now. Um, am I gonna have to rethink that now? Maybe I'll just do the two stars. Um, like he would have got five eventually in like the last year or two. He would have rolled five, but I still I, mm, on the. With the low fives, I mean, I guess I, I guess I'd stuff them, um, but I'm definitely looking for above those 95 percent. Uh, so I'm not really too heartbroken about like losing that, that five star that he would have got there. I'm more sad that he was, he's now gone and can't raise the, uh, the fitness level. Uh, but that's what I get for doing that. Um, it's just, oh man, I, I think I've been playing Aurora Shores too much because all my Aurora Shores are all low fit stuff. So, <laughs> but here. I've been calling these herds a lot longer, so yeah, I'll probably have to reset my rule here and not do the three star materials, I guess. Oh well. Uh, I think I got pretty good fitness throughout here anyway, so there's going to be. You won't have much of a factor into that. Alright, well, I'm going to have to stop the recording now because of my new recording software. My file sizes are getting really big and unmanageable. Um, and hopefully the quality's okay. I've been trying to get the balance between file size and upload size and quality with the new stuff. Um, anyways, hopefully it turns out okay. Uh, thanks a bunch for watching. Let me know what you think and and on the difficulty levels. And uh, everybody, uh, take care.